Well, it was a really close race for the first couple of days, but the votes are in and the tally has finally been counted. Unfortunately, I'm still kind of busy at this point, so I'm going to have to ask you to bear with me for another couple of weeks. And I'm just kidding. Here's Felix the Cat. Hello, folks, and welcome to Let's Play Felix the Cat. Released in 1992 by Hudson Saw, Felix was the very first cartoon superstar, really. This is his enemy. I don't know his name. I probably should have looked his name up before. Felix, if you don't want to give me a, the bag, I'll get it from you anyway. Click. Oh wait, that's not in quotes, so he didn't actually say that. Yeah, Felix's main power is his magic bag, or his magic sack. This game is particularly easy, but it's also very, very fun. It really is only as difficult as you make it. Oftentimes, you can just rush through the entire level and not encounter any opposition. You don't have to fight any of these enemies, they don't really give you anything. I actually kind of like the power-up system in the game, though. And I'm failing to demonstrate it right now. But basically, as you collect hearts, you upgrade your attack from the standard punch punch attack from the bag. You send a little boxing glove, that's your basic attack. If you get damaged like this, then you die. If you get damaged once you have a heart, you drop down to the most previous level. If I can get another heart, I can demonstrate what you get at higher levels. There we go. At the first heart, you get the top hat ability. So you become Ozzy Arcane. No, you send out stars in every direction, which is actually a pretty, pretty good attack. You really don't have to take those guys out, since you can just jump over the top like this. And there's Felix's girlfriend. I want to say her name is Annabelle, but I don't think it is. I think that might have been the name of his fish. Yeah, I don't I don't know as much about Felix, but why do I know the name of his fish that was in like one episode? I don't know. The controls are very smooth. You can if I could get on this damn jump pad, you can go into this bag and yeah, you don't go behind it for some reason. You just fall down right in front of it. Grab some milk and we grab another heart, and Felix actually gets his own car, which is only seems to have two wheels. So, I don't know how he's balancing on that, maybe it's some sort of a proto Segway back from 1991. But the attack for this one, you send out a... You send out a beeping and then, once you upgrade from there, you get a freaking tank! So yeah, that's the end of level one. Let's uh, move on up to level two. Well, not quite level two, but stage round one, two. Most classic platformers, these levels are built into separate stages, so each each world has multiple levels in it, and then you fight a boss at the end. Yeah, another aspect of this game, if you can hit an enemy multiple times, I'll try to show you that in a, just a bit once I get a better angle on one. This little chipmunk here. If you hit it multiple times, you get points every time, and you get hit by these things. Well, we got our tank back, though. And when using the tank, if you hold down the button longer, it will go further. So if you hold it down far, it goes up high. If you just tap it gently, it shoots down low arc. So you can use that to sort of aim your shots and take different people. And this is starting to look a bit like Super Mario Bros. 2, isn't it? You got the fist jumping, you got the waterfall in the background. Let's go in that bag. Let's see what's in this bag. Let's go down in the front of the bag. And somehow we teleport to inside of it. You're almost guaranteed to get both a milk and a heart inside one of these things. The milks will give you 500 points apiece, and you usually get three of them, but they disappear very quickly. Also, the cannon shots will bounce, so you don't want to go down there definitely, because that will be instant death. Ooh, more milk. I want the milk. Kitties love milk, don't they? Ah, crap. Another thing about the tank, you can take those tree guys out with a single shot. And will this give us a... No. Sometimes when you touch... Yeah, there you go. Sometimes when you touch those in the background, they give you a special uh, extra points. But it's it's not much... It's the same amount as if you would get it grabbing a milk. So it really is... It really seems like it should be more. You know, those birds, you can actually stand on them. Not too many enemies. All the other enemies, they'll, they'll just hurt you if you stand on them. But that ends that level. 
Do do. Hey, fun music. And also, as you use your as you use your abilities, they'll go down in time after a certain amount. You have your hearts up there in the corner, and they will slowly decrease every couple of seconds. But if you grab milk, that recharges them. And also, if you grab a heart when you have when you're fully powered up, that counts as a one up. So hopefully, I can grab one of those. And nope. So now when I grab a heart, it'll bring me back to the tank. There we go. Into this bag, maybe we can get another heart in here. Nope, there's some milk. Nope, no hearts. You're pretty much guaranteed to get a milk and usually a heart in there, but sometimes it doesn't work out right. Milk is much more common than hearts in those things. Why, why am I trying to hit these guys anyway? I don't have to go that way. Ah, what the hell? You're supposed to die. That went right in your face and you survived it. That's not fair. Yeah, the, the bow, I, I bet, I'm pretty sure that made some sort of different onomatopoeia in Japanese. Oh, come on, stop doing that. Shooting out stuff right when I come at you. Alright, now we're back in the car. Yeah, the original Japanese would probably shout out some Japanese kanji onomatopoeia symbol, but here it just says bow. I don't know why it says bow, I guess it's, uh, it's supposed to be beep, but shouldn't it be beep? This game also reminds me of Wacky Races, if you guys remember that game, when you play as, uh, Muttley, I think his name was. Let's grab our tank and go into our first boss battle. I, I think that's Poindexter, why is he attacking us? He's a good guy, isn't he? He's riding on his little ostrich thing. Basically what you want to do is you want to make sure there's a ball on him when he comes back from being invisible. Or invincible. I'm not, I'm not fucking Nintendo Capri Sun. I don't know the difference between invisible and invincible. But when he's kind of half flashing, I guess that does make him invisible or invincible. Anyway, that does it for the first round of Felix the Cat. See you folks next time.